Okay, last thing of the week. We're going to be going for highlights of the weekend. Anyone want to go first? Me. Go on, Steve. Sam Allardyce's reaction when <laughs> Mvia gave that pen away. <laughs> Hilarious. Did you see it? He just yeah. he, had a, he had a mental breakdown on the side of the pitch. Uh, see, I, yeah, I think that would be a highlight of, of of any weekend. I don't give it football related or not. It was just it was a manager. It was a manager thinking. It was a manager thinking. I cannot believe my players have just done that. <laughs> I, I spent a week getting these ready to win this game, and mm. he's gone and done that in the corner of the box when the lads are about to run out of play. He, he just goes. <laughs> <laughs> Burton's about to run the ball out of play, and for some reason, Jan and Villa just decides, well, I'm going to break your legs. So he just, he just comes in, wipes them out, and it's, it's just the most bizarre thing a footballer can do. I just even, I can't think of one thing that he was trying to do other than foul him and give a penalty. Because there was just nothing else. He was nowhere near the ball. It was going for a throw in or a, sorry for a goal kick or whatever. <laughs> and he just wipes him out. And he just seen Sam. And I read this post match uh, uh, interview. And he just said the, the reporter says to him, "What did you think when that happened?" And he just went, "I thought, oh, we're all right here. He's going nowhere." Oh shit! <laughs> 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 and he just, he just, I just think that sometimes when we we see footballers. And I, I, people are always shout. I could have done better than that. Yeah. But that's one of those situations where yeah. I, I know for a fact I could have done better than that. Yeah. Can I have just stood there and let him run out the ball, yeah. out of play? Or rather, I could have done that. Quite, <laughs> I could definitely have done that. Quite if, to be honest, I wouldn't. Have, I'd, I couldn't have caught the lads. I'd have been, I'd have been on the halfway line. But it, it's just so funny and bizarre because it's just a man. When you see a manager who knows I'm doing my absolute best to keep mm. using this division, it's my job to keep using the division. And I've got to deal with that shit. <laughs> it was just hilarious. Yeah. I love football. I love so stupid, stupid just, footballers. Just, just like that. Thanks, mate. Thanks. <laughs> it's just it was so funny. I mean, it just made it just I just it's like what more it's like when you see your kids do something stupid. Why have you just left that crayon? There's nothing that good could come out of that. <laughs> it's a crayon all over his face. Why have you just done... Why? Just, just, what, you, just what are you doing? What <laughs> were like, you expecting the result to be from that? What was the best that could have come from that situation? Yeah. And, so, oh, you put your, uh, put your finger in the plug, did you? Wh- wh- why? Yeah. yeah. That's what was wrong. Yeah, d- what's, the, what's the punishment then? Yeah, well, no, you're going to be playing that, that Kevin Davies right wing slot now for, <laughs> for, for, for a few weeks where we just smash long balls up to you and you get battered left, right and centre. <laughs> That's your punishment. Anyone want to throw one in? Oh, yeah, I, I, I was at Chelsea Stoke and watching Ryan Shawcross and Diego Costa go head to head all afternoon was just it was, it was just two of the best characters in the Premier League. I love how I love what Costa's become. Just <laughs> the, the pantomime. Oh, I, I mean the way I put it in my match report was it was like a it was like a sort of humorless nightclub bouncer Shawcross <laughs> with a kind of real drunken town centre <laughs> pest. You know, was, <laughs> Costa's oh you smell you know he was, he was doing all that sort of stuff. Um, and at one point, Joe crossed, he just he just he just had enough, and he, he actually the ball had gone, and he just ran across Smack the pitch, and <laughs> pushed him in the pushed him in the throat, and sort of time on a nightclub bouncer as well. <laughs> the ref just went, fair enough. Yeah, yeah. Just like, <laughs> yeah. I still I still recall playing Sunday League many years ago, and and seeing our uh, our goalkeeper got head butted by the centre forward, and he went. Hey, ref, he's just butted me. And the ref turned around and went, yeah, you had to come in. <laughs> and, you know, I really <laughs> feel like that should be how Costa's handled yeah. in this league. Like, you mean, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> And to be fair, Diego, have you seen you and the way you play football? You get every, you get everything you get. It's, is coming it's, to um, you. it's running with the security fell on the side of the pitch though. Was I just, think that's oh, been that taken. Was... What the? Not exactly. Yeah. What the hell was that? Oh, yeah, they're oh. talking uh, uh, assault. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be a compo claim going in from that guy, won't there? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yes. It's tre- trod on me toes. Absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, no. Th- yeah, that, that's one of those things. But then, of course, that's Diego Costa all over, isn't it? And it yeah. happened to happened to Suarez to some extent. Mm. Is that when you start to get a reputation for being a bell end? Then no, no, but people look for as many Every cases of bellend as yeah. they possibly can. If I was a manager going up against Chelsea, now I'd say just wind him up. Yeah. Just oh, I don't think you yeah. don't even think you have to do just, that. Just, or, just yeah, or, or, but if you let him wind you up mm-hmm. and don't retaliate, just do a show across the and just laugh at him. Just laugh. At him. And then just chin him once, and the, and the like, <laughs> and the like. The, the, the ref's probably gonna let you get away with one. You might you take your yellow card, just smash him, just and he'll be get, and then he'll be get to one sentence. Just do what John Stones didn't just cruise turn him in your own box. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You don't need to me at the end of the day. There's literally nothing that can be done about that. The bad thing about what Costa's going through at the moment is he's doing all this and he still isn't scoring a goal. Yeah. But so when Suarez done it, it was kind of yeah. good because he would d- jump on the floor. He'd roll around a bit, he'd cry, wave cards, and then he's bang after him. Yeah. Where, where Costa's now is just like, he's, he's not, I don't even know he's fit, he looks like he can't run. So it's, he, it's almost as if he's thinking, 
I've got to get into a bit more of a battle here to make you do something stupid because yeah. I don't know if I'm going to... Well, to be fair, you know, if, if, if he's not on form, he's is, he in the best possible place to be because Chelsea is where formerly world-class strikers go to die. Yeah. No, Isn't that's, yeah. that's seven. <laughs> <laughs> <To be fair. laughs> is that the move after the move? Yeah, that's, yeah. The, no, that, that's, the, that's the next one. That's the rebound. Who, yeah, who, who would you have? Yeah, Andy uh, Johnson. Oh, oh, Andy really? Johnson. Well, James Beattie's probably the classic one. Isn't he? He's, <laughs> he's the formerly world-class. I don't know as far as world-class. I just mean strike, where strikers go to die. Yeah, oh, right. oh, it's yeah. generally yeah. where strikers oh, I'm just go. thinking, with the Chelsea, you know, uh, Viali, Shevchenko, yeah. Crespo, um, Falcao, Torres, Falcao, Falcao yeah. Kesman. Kesman, where? Kesman, yeah. <laughs> he was all right, him. Yeah. In Holland. Yeah. This is, this is, this is, Mewtwo? Is, he just liked the London language. Mewtwo was the... Yeah, let's move on from Mewtwo. Um, <laughs> um, Salford City. For, yes. for two reasons, though, for two reasons. I mean, I don't know if you've been watching the documentary about them, brilliant documentary, and, and uh, again... I don't know about you to, to think, but I think the class of '92 are absolutely brilliant. I just think, I think I just, yeah. well, yeah, but I just think they're no, brilliant. No, I just think, I'd, well, they're still in the age category to come and play for you. That's what well, I mean. you know, <laughs> yeah, well, they're, they're the ones who got away. <laughs> Apart from Phil, we, we wish you'd got away. Um, no, but I just think they're all brilliant football people that would have no problem running the game in this country. They've all got their heads screwed on. Uh, Nicky Butt maybe needs to talk a little bit more. He's, yeah. you know, he just he just disappears. He's like yeah. Homer into the bush. He just disappears. <laughs> uh, but they they. They have got football all figured out, um, and what they've done for that club is is amazing, uh, and that win was amazing. And the second goal, I don't know if you've seen it. The, the winning goal, yeah. the winning goal was it was proper Sunday League though. It was like they threw someone on, and he was trying all these tricks, and it worked. But it was proper Sunday League goal though. Um, but I still love the fact, and this is where football's gone, that a non-league giant killing is owned by five millionaires and a billionaire as well. Yeah, yeah. And that's, that's, the, that's the irony of it all. Isn't yeah. It's like, oh, this little team, the team that could, owned by a billionaire. And Everton fans are just like, have you seen the things on the documentary? You're like, oh, they've built a new kitchen and look at the toilets and Everton are like, have you seen our toilet in the Have you seen our away end? When, when's that? Um, when's that safety certificate running out, Bill? Yeah. Five it's years ago, you said. It's basically the, uh, the the factory that Hugh Jackman's kind of runs in, Les Miserables, pretty much the away end. In, uh, I haven't seen that. I'm not go, as cultured as you. I was thinking of Wolverine, but they're the circles I run in. But obviously, you know. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't remember his character's name, to be fair. So there we go. Uh, Dave. Uh, yeah, the one, the one that Wolverine is. Dave Leclerc. Like, in Les Miserables, um, but yeah, you know, you, you, you're right. The thing I liked about that actually was the coverage because I only really caught it the last couple of minutes. And they started with all the fans on the pitch, yeah. all behind them, and then it cut to the highlights. And when they came back, they'd move righty and co just round the corner a little bit. Yeah. So they well, were behind. It was them. a big security <laughs> kill. But the, that was great as well. The, the lad who scored went over, and the first thing he wanted to do was just have a chat with Wright And he was, No, you're on camera, you know. He's going, <laughs> yeah, so do you, Wright. <laughs> Yeah, but it was, it was but it was very very modern football this non-league team owned by a billionaire <laughs> no, that, that's football for you absolutely absolutely um, my one and I and I, I don't like to say it but I will it's uh, Alan Pardew making Jürgen Klopp talk to the hand <laughs> he full on he full on palmed them off he palmed them off there's all kinds of memes doing yeah. the rounds Ah, uh, it goes because I really, I just yeah, I hate them. Pads, pads, pads. You know, pads, pads is, is all right. You know what? You know what he is. Sure he's all right. He's actually. Yeah, he's all right. Listen, listen. <laughs> off camera, we can have a little chat about it. No, I'm sure, I'm sure, he's, I'm sure he's, he's lovely. Sure, think, he's lovely. I think he's good at his job. <laughs> he's, he's good at his job. Oh yes, he's great. He's great, great his job. Yeah. He just reminds me of a fella who would take his missus out for dinner. I spend all night chatting to the waiters. I try to look up a skirt. <laughs> no, all night, all all night talking loudly on his phone because you want really important. You know what I mean? But then it actually turns out there's no one on the other end of the phone. It's that bit in Bowfinger, is it, with uh, Steve Martin and he's got the mobile and he's basically cut the cord off from his, from his car and it's just like, and he lifts up and he's... Yeah, he's oh, if he was chocolate, he'd eat himself, clearly. But, <laughs> but I, I suppose the hated came when he was at Newcastle it was a perfect fit must we um, do this every week we've got to always do it <laughs> <laughs> we won't go too far into Newcastle no but I think when he was at Newcastle it was that perfect fit of um, Newcastle and a horrible man they just seem to fit together <laughs> really really well sure. no no but now that he's gone to Palace no. he, he's he's del- I'm seeing he's a, del- a, del- he's seen, we're he seeing like we're him. seeing a, uh, the, not the nicer side but it's almost like he's had the dark side taken off of Newcastle. I think it just affects everyone. The evilness of he's Newcastle just affects no everyone. There is. There's, listen, 
they deal in, in zero hour contracts like yeah, like yeah, not an yeah, you know what I mean? But I like these castles, so we're not gonna get into this again this week. But no, he's a perfect fifth he's a perfect fifth for Crystal Palace. I don't like him because I don't like anyone who gets the better than not pull like consistent. You must hate everyone. So I've got to stop <laughs> Everton of late the last ten years or so like yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but, but yeah, honestly, we, we couldn't have loved David Moyes more. <laughs> we really, like, literally, he was the best, the best thing that happened to football. Uh, the, it, the only thing I say with the talk to the hand thing is, I always think when you do something like that, it's it always comes back and bites you on the ass. Oh, I do. I it, do. Never, it, it never, it never, it never just works your way. So there was, a, there was a feeling I had during that game of like, if we just go on and win, because I really thought Liverpool were going to win that game. That what's the story? Who do we have for like the second half season with the? To get a bit of revenge, and if we just beat everyone now, we, you know, I really want a little <laughs> bit of like, I want some after, so I want to go to Shellers Park and, and, and put to bed Chris Stamble, you know what I mean? That, that, that kind of stuff. So, yeah, right, so we're gonna have to wrap that up there. Let us know your highlight of the weekend in the comments section underneath you. And which one actually of the ones presented by the lads do you think was the standout candidate? Let us know that as well. Give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out the lads, of course. Um, Go paywall crazy at the times. <laughs> uh, yeah. oh, I claimed before you got you could read his articles for free. He looked at me like the, like I took his kids' food off him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Was... Web websites, those are, but we're shutting them down. After that. Yeah. <laughs> but it's like people go to you going here. That ad block is amazing. No, not ad block. <laughs> yeah. Tom uh, <laughs> so yeah um, check out Pen on Toffee TV and check out uh, Steve's contribution to the vast array of websites across the Read Network and beyond it's plenty and also just just get on it on Twitter if you want to see someone basically wind people up on Twitter at least once a week Steve Steve's your man yeah uh, so anyway, thank you very much for watching check out the rest of the shows across the uh, across the channel we've been talking about Spurs' top four chances we've been talking about Jose Mourinho still in a job and a whole lot more as well so check that out thank you very much for watching uh, we'll be taking a little bit of a break next week there will be something up but it won't be the full show because international slash um, injuries week will be in full effect uh, but we'll be back definitely with the full show the week after that so check it out anyway, thanks for watching Tara. <laughs>